Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Business Bar, the only place where we serve you delicious drinks as well as delicious business and life advice. My name is Erin, I'm a personal branding strategist and online business mentor. So what I actually wanted to do in today's episode was talk about how to get outside your comfort zone. You know, I think that we always hear, get outside your comfort zone, that's how you're gonna succeed. But really, who's teaching us specifically what we need to do to actually get outside our comfort zone and build up the confidence to stay outside our comfort zone so we can have continued success? And what I wanted to do was pair this particular talk with a whiskey sour. Now, the reason why I did this is because this actually has egg white in it. And I know that scares a lot of people away from this beverage. So I wanted you to give you the opportunity to try this beverage out get outside your comfort zone and try something with a little egg white in it. If you like this episode, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, become a regular by subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications. All right, the fun part of the, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? The fun part of the whiskey sour. So this is a shaken cocktail, so I am going to grab my shaker here. And you wanna get an egg, but you only want to be using the egg white. Now, I know you can buy egg whites in a carton, but I prefer to use a real egg. So what you wanna do is crack the egg, separate the egg into half, and then you're just going to be switching back and forth between each of the sides of the egg so that the egg rolls out and you don't get any of the yolk in there. So I just wanted to quickly, before I give you some really tangible things that you can do to get outside your comfort zone, I really quickly wanted to have a quick chat with you about the difference between being in your comfort zone and being in alignment in your business. Something that I hear so many coaches talking about these days when they're talking about succeeding in business is that it has to feel good and you should be in flow and that you should be in alignment. This confuses a lot of people into thinking that you shouldn't be getting outside your comfort zone. There is a very big difference between it feeling aligned and it feeling comfortable. And you need to be able to differentiate the two to be able to succeed in your business. Now, what I mean as an example of this, say you wanted to do public speaking. Public speaking is obviously gonna be one of those things that it itself is gonna be outside your comfort zone and reaching out for opportunities and actually getting up stage. That's going to be outside your comfort zone. It's probably gonna scare the shit out of you. But if it feels, still feels like it's going to move you forward in your business and there is a certain level of excitement inside of you, that is where you need to be. You need to say to yourself, yes, I do really wanna do this besides all of the fears and I know if I do, it's gonna take my business forward. Now, the opposite to that would be if you were just doing something because you knew other people were doing it, maybe like writing a book. Maybe you thought, mm, it seems like it doesn't really feel good. I don't know whether this is outside my comfort zone or whether it's just not something I wanna do, but I feel like I should because other coaches are doing it and succeeding with it. So the difference really is fear. You need to be asking yourself, do you really wanna do it? And is it just fear that's stopping you? And if that's the case, then that's a good indication that it is in alignment, but outside your comfort zone. And if it's not just fear that's standing in your way, if you feel disconnected from taking that action and you're not really sure that if, if it's for you, then maybe it's not necessarily being outside your comfort zone, then maybe that's just not something that's aligned with your business. So you have to get really good at differentiating between those two. All right, what we're popping in this additionally to the egg white is just about 30 mils or so of sugar syrup, and then we'll be using 60 mils of, you can use bourbon, you can use whiskey, but because this is a whiskey sour, I am using some Jameson here. Okay, so now how do you actually get outside your comfort zone? I'm going to give you some contrary advice to what most people will say. Now, what most people will say is that you should be starting small, you know, just do something that's just outside your comfort zone and then do something that's a little bit further. And while I do think that's a really good strategy, it might not necessarily be the one that works for you because what you'll always be doing is just always doing little things. I say, take a quantum leap. You know, once you do something that's so far outside your comfort zone, something that is like terrifying to you, 
it makes all of the other steps beyond that or behind that much easier. So my suggestion to do is that I want you to go identify something in your business that is going to be that massive leap. Maybe it's reaching out to a big influencer or putting yourself forward for a big speaking event or you know, really, really going after that massive client that you know could be really good for your business. Find that one thing that's so far out of your comfort zone and go for it. Now, whether or not you land it or not is irrelevant. The person that you become in the process of actually going for that opportunity is going to make everything else seem so much easier. So find the really big stuff and do those first. Trust me, it will change who you are which will change how you're able to succeed. Then the next thing we are doing is cutting up some lemons. So I will get my trusty friend here and you're just going to be using the juice of about half a lemon as the drink is called. It is a sour drink, so the lemon is what gives it its name. These are not very juicy lemons. Okay, we have our Lemon. So the next suggestion that I do have to get outside your comfort zone is that give yourself a challenge. Now, as an example of this, I actually currently in my Facebook group have a 90 day self promo challenge where myself and the other group members are putting ourselves out there, really, really going for big opportunities for 90 days, putting together a list of 90 different things that we could do. Now, you don't obviously have to come join the May Collective on Facebook to do that, but give yourself a challenge. Find 30 things, 20 things, 10 things that are really outside your comfort zone and challenge yourself and hold yourself accountable to actually go do things. The, the biggest thing that I think that so many people get tripped up on when people say, get outside your comfort zone is we're not actually taking the step back to figure out, well, what is actually outside my comfort zone? We think we should just be, you know, be scared all the time or be pushing our limits, but without actually identifying what those limits are, you'll probably procrastinate on the fact. So what I want you to do is actually make a list of like 30 different things that are outside your comfort zone that give you those chills, that give you those jitters, but you know will move your business forward and give yourself a challenge, whether it's 30 days, whether it's two months and start actually pursuing them. Now I must say to you, it's not whether or not the opportunity comes through. Being outside your comfort zone is going to bring you success. Whether it's this opportunity, whether it's the next or the one after, it doesn't matter. The most important thing with being outside your comfort zone is who you become. The person that you are right now is not the same person that's gonna have a six figure business, a seven figure business, or the success that you dream of. You have to become a different person. Not in personality, obviously, but you have to build a new set of beliefs, build a new set of characteristics and skills in order to be able to achieve a new set of success. So make sure you're pushing yourself, challenging yourself, making a list of all the things that you can do and just start taking action and actually doing them. All right, team, are we ready for the fun part of making a whiskey sour? It is the intense shaking that needs to be done to actually make it frothy as it is supposed to be. So what you wanna do is top up your current mixture all the way to the top with ice. And just like an espresso martini that we made back at the work ethic video, you really, really, really wanna make sure you're giving this one a very good shake because that's what's gonna make that egg white go all frothy and delicious. Are we ready for the big reveal? It looks frothy. Okay, so before I pour this, my last piece of advice, you want to succumb to peer pressure. I know, this is like the last thing that you're supposed to do all the way through high school. But what I actually mean by this is you wanna be surrounding yourself with people who are gonna challenge you to get outside your comfort zone. You know, so many of us cluster and hang out with and essentially become like the people who are pretty mundane in their life and are satisfied with just the day-to-day -day basics. If you really wanna become a person who's consistently challenging yourself, consistently putting yourself out there, going for opportunity and achieving big grand things in life, you need to be surrounding yourself with the right network of people. You know, we always hear the quote that your network is equal to your net worth and the people that you surround yourself with are going to make up who you are. So make sure you are really, really putting yourself out there and making friends who are going to push your limits. Now I have a little bit of a hack for this particular tip. Whilst you are on the pursuit of your network and the amazing people that you can hang out with, go onto YouTube and look up videos of extraordinary people. 
I know this seems really silly, it seems really counteractive, but even just by watching videos of people who are doing extraordinary things, whether it's athletic extraordinary things, whether it's in business, in life, or even just people being amazing, it's going to motivate you to step outside your comfort zone. It's going to motivate you to step outside your comfort zone and become someone who goes for amazing things. When you know what humans are capable of and the extraordinary things that we can do, and you have examples of that right in front of you, then you're going to be doing it so much more yourself. So go out there, pursue new friendships, find people who can peer pressure you into getting outside your comfort zone. But whilst you do that, go on YouTube and look up all the extraordinary things that people are already doing. Now let's reveal this drink, shall we? So you just want to serve this in a rocks glass, a scotch glass. Oh. There we go. So as you can see, we have some nice froth on the top and of course a sour needs to be topped with a delicious garnish. I'm just going to put a lemon wedge and a maraschino cherry on the side here. And there you go, a delicious whiskey sour. Don't knock it until you get out your comfort zone and try it. All right, that's it from me. I hope that you are walking away from today's episode drunk on knowledge and empowered to get outside your comfort zone and actually take action on your dreams. I would really love if you left in the comments below if you have any other additional tips on getting outside your comfort zone. And thank you so much for watching. I so, so, so appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.